policy first off was enacted back in 2013, November of 2013. Uh, the reason for that was there were concerns with regards to the high density of population, people that frequent the water down at Gab Gab and at St. Louis. According to Captain Andy Anderson, that policy is a prohibition on spearfishing on Naval Base Guam and its surrounding waters. Captain Anderson would not confirm what prompted the reminder. There was no specific incident that I can really refer to. What I will tell you is, uh, first off, what brought it to our attention is we had a, what's called a town hall meeting, where we had everybody in the community, they dial into this virtual town hall and they can ask all kinds of questions about whatever it is that they want. So one of the new arrivals uh, had asked a question with regards to spearfishing. Why was the policy the way that it was? Uh, and so we explained that. Shortly thereafter, there was a Facebook post that I have not been able to confirm nor deny uh, where an individual said they were at Gab Gab Beach, uh, they were swimming or snorkeling, I can't recall, possibly even scuba diving, uh, where a, sp a spear ricocheted off of a rock and impacted them. Fishing, however, isn't altogether off the table. Permitted fishing techniques in designated areas only include hook and line fishing from shoreline or boat and cast netting from shorelines. Hook and line is authorized uh, in uh, what we call Clipper Landing, Clipper Cove. It's authorized over in Sumai Cove uh, and there's no issues with hook, with, with hook and line uh, for some of the locations on the base primarily the locations where there are not highly populated frequency of visitors getting in and out of the water. If caught violating the policy, depending on whether you are active duty or a visitor, you could be subject to disciplinary action or have your base privileges revoked.